wasn't so much an idea as simply doing a few releases and realising that um, short of giving them away, the best way to get them out into the world was to be trading for other things. And after realising that there were only so many records I personally could get, the next step was just to uh, get you know various things from um, <coughs> bands and labels that I enjoy and um, start cobbling together a distro list. So it started small and um, to this day I, I don't buy distro releases, um, it's all traded mm. uh, and it's at least intended to be things that I enjoy. Occasionally I'll trade something in the expectation I'll enjoy it and mm -hmm. unfortunately the ex expectation is it met but um, for the most part um, it's it's things that I you know have a, have a liking and an attachment to. I became a history student in college my first uni degree was a history major. Um, it's, it, it was completely useless to me in terms of um, a, a job, <laughs> but it's, it's absolutely an interest. And I guess part of the, part of the um, interest behind that is simply a, a lot of what we're experiencing today, I find tends to just be, to be repetitious and is often um, a smaller version of something that's occurred, mm. you know, be it a hundred years ago, be it five hundred years ago. So it's it's fascinating for me to be able to just explore those links and bring mm. them through. Everyone has their own inspirations, their own beliefs, their own um, reason for doing things or not doing things, and my view on it is it's it's not my job to intervene. Mm. And and I guess this comes back to how I related to this stuff when I began and how I still you know I don't, I don't have to deal with any of these people as people and maybe it would be different if I did um, but I deal with you know overwhelmingly with records tape CDs and so that's that's what I relate to. I contacted him for a reason which I certainly can't remember now just um, CCCC were one of the earlier noise acts that I came across and so were a big deal to me. I can't remember how or why I contacted Astro but I did and eventually the topic came up, well what do you, you know, what have you got on the horizon? And I think the answer was nothing mm -hmm. and that just seemed like a bad idea to me so um, I think I had the, the packaging in my head at the time. Hmm. Uh, I had no idea of how it was going to be executed and if I had I probably would have never have suggested it. But um, with that packaging in mind I said to him, well look I, I run a label, here's you know, some information on this fledgling little um, Hobart based entity. Um, how do you feel about recording a, a double three inch? And he you know, thank goodness said yes. And um, I don't know, I got it six months later or, or whenever it was. And shortly after that, I uh, had started on the second night Science Magazine and so contacted him about doing an interview on a CD track for that. Um, and because issue two took so long, it became issue three. Mm. But um, those tracks were recorded right around the same time. Mm. I think Richard just sent that to me. Mm. Um, <clears throat> I must have, I bought some stuff from him or um, he may have been sending me some, some copies of the compilations that I was on or probably a combination and um, I just I got his package and uh, Werewolf Jerusalem Master was sitting in there saying hey check it out and get back to me and um, this was I think maybe the self-titled tape had come out by that point but Compared to the you know volume of material that's available today, this was um, a project of his I wasn't familiar with it at the time, and um, it is a very delineated, specific project. And I just you know I put it on and said, "Well, fuck yes, this is this is really good." What did you like about it? I, 
uh, well, I mean, for where with Jerusalem, it almost has to be the stagnancy in, involved in it. It's it is challenging uh, in a very different way to, to how something like CCCC may be. Um, I don't know. I, I keep coming back to this idea that my reaction to noise is intuitive, but uh, that there is something engaging about um, a, a work that is particularly stagnant, and, and there is a challenge to it. Mm. So it may have been that. I, if I remember right, it mm. was going to be a CD. Mm, it was going to be a CDR, and either the master got scratched in the mail or. There was something wrong with it anyway, and um, trying to burn copies, it perpetuated the errors that were mm. otherwise just in the first couple of minutes mm. of it. It's actually about an, an hour long master. Mm. Um, and so I took it to any number of places trying to get the city fixed or whatever the case may be, and it just it wasn't going to happen. So I contacted Richard and said, well, we've got a problem. There's just, there's no way I can, I can, um, duplicate this, um, I can excise the bits that are um, problematic and we can do it as a tape. And he was all for that. So I um, sat down and figured out how much material was fine and this is when this quick copy place was um, still selling chrome tapes and they could do them to, to any length you needed so I just ordered what was needed, which it was seems 50 to, minutes. Yeah, it seems to work as a tape though. Yeah, absolutely. My first, my first reaction listening to it was like, oh, I should have been all one thing, but yeah. as a tape, yeah, it's just... Hmm. Uh, look, it, it fits the format well. Like, mm. looking back at it now, I'm, I'm glad with how it all, you know, happened. And it's, mm. it's one of those things that, you know, it happened, maybe it happened for a reason. Um, I'm not a fan or a exponent of divine intervention, but, you know, <laughs> there, there are things that, you know, things will happen by chance and, and you'll look back at it and think, well... Yeah, I am glad that, you know, the first couple of minutes were problematic. We praised the goddess of noise. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> the other and, thing... And it, was, I, it was a release where, um, because of the divide is actually, like the divide between the two sides, it, it falls in one of those mm. s spans where it is stagnating. It, it, um, it did appeal in the sense that um, no one's actually going to know if I cut out... Mm. 10 seconds or 30 seconds or two minutes and so it actually changed every dub I think <laughs>